it is Punjab playing Mumbai. Now, if we look at the points table, this is of oh, course yeah. happening uh, in Chandigarh. Yeah, you like it? Oof. That's in in the words of uh, in the words of Jim Carrey. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say something really original that hasn't been said ever on this show. What? Big match. <laughs> <laughs> Important match. Uh, almost, you could almost put a line through Mumbai if they lose this one. Ooh. Two and four. Well, they're two and four at the moment. They're two and they, four at the moment. They lose this one tomorrow. Yeah, two and five tomorrow. At the halfway point, two wins. That'd be that'd be tough trucking from there. So. Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, the, the so, numbers there explain themselves. One second. So for one of them. Yeah. Because they see they're identical. Yeah. The net run rate is almost Yeah, identical. well, that's a fair point. That's a, a fair point. Yeah. Maybe it was my f- sort of red Punjabi colouring <laughs> from three <laughs> years. But, uh, but yeah, no, that's a fair point. Red or blue, whatever yeah. team you're on, you need your team to win. Basically, because if your team loses tomorrow, that's right. As, yeah. as Gilly said, tough trucking from there. I like that phrase. Yeah, I like it, it. Tough trucking. Exactly. They, it's basically, it's a Titanic. It's sinking. There's a lifeboat. There's one seat out there. <laughs> the other guys have to go, guys to hold on on the side and hope that he stays on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so one team gruesome, tomorrow. Here, <laughs> I like it. So one team tomorrow is going to be Rose. Yeah. The other one's going to be Jack. Yeah. And tomorrow's match or the win is that plank of wood. <laughs> That separates you from drowning, from floating. Who does the advantage lie with is the question. We'll also have a look at the teams. I can guarantee you pretty much that with Mumbai, we've been harping on it that they've got their 11 in place. I don't think they're going to make a change to this, right? It's unlikely because there's nothing I can see out there which makes a huge difference to their lives. The only thing you have to ask yourself is, uh, uh, they gave Shreyas Gopal a game and I thought he was quite okay. He, he wasn't that Well, he bowled the one over in the yeah. previous game yeah. because of Shivam Dubey, they didn't let him come back. Yeah, exactly. So my point is that this is a this is as good and it's a powerful batting lineup you know, with Nabi coming in somewhere at 7, 8, you know, you you know, yeah, 8. Nabi and Shepard are 7 and 8, yeah. whichever order. Yeah, 7 yeah. and 8 and that, that gives you a lot of batting. There's a lot of power there. The thing is that when Surya gets going, it's, it's literally the matches he's got going, they've got going. When he's not got going, as happened in the last match, you know, that's the thing that his ability to change matches is so much, sometimes I feel they're still over-dependent on him. Mm. But uh, this is a very powerful side which is still not firing on all cylinders. Yeah. And it's, it, but it's still, you see it on paper, you still look at it and wonder how can this team be two and four, but yeah. they are. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do, do you feel that, and we've spoken enough about matchups, and Simon Dool has yep. spoken enough about matchups as well and how much he dislikes them. In the last match, do you think strategically they got it wrong by not bowling Shreyas Gopal in front of Shivam Dubey? They almost like gave their hand away. He's hitting the quicks as well. Yeah. So it's not like he's sparing anyone else. But because they only bowled in the one over, he kind of got stuck in the end for lack of options. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, easy game later on. But I think that that was obvious through that innings that it, just the option was there. You don't pick a guy. Uh, and, and just don't back him. I think that's as much as anything the message you're sending to that player is like, sorry, I don't don't back you in this contest, and and that that's not a great confidence builder. I think there's a lot around uh, that the captaincy of Hardik Pandya as, as it still settles all the the white noise around the outside, but his learnings of well, as a captain, a new franchise, it's an old franchise for him by way of returning, but taking on the leadership. Um, I, I thought, and Harsha made a point um, to me a couple of days after that game, or a day after that game, and I felt it at the time too. Just little nuances. I thought when in that run chase, when the wicket fell and he himself went in, Hardik Pandya, maybe that was the Tim David moment. Okay. Just to give him a fraction more because he he has been hitting it quite well, Tim David and and Hardik. Sort of hasn't been at his level. Of, so just on form, yeah. Yeah, just just a little instinct thing. But you know, having said that, Hardy, a num- with bad end ball, tried to walk straight at the fire. He didn't mm-hmm. try and run away from it. The heat yeah. of battle. Credit to him for that. But uh, I think his captaincy is going to keep evolving and learning, and and as everything settles, so he'll probably get a little bit 
uh, more confident in making the right calls in those sort of 50-50 moments. Yeah, so maybe, maybe that one change, uh, or otherwise play Shreyas, because the other option I think they have is Piyush Chavla. So you play Shreyas, Gopal, and you're backing him, uh, then just kind of throw the ball uh, at him a little more. Can you remind me, I'm trying to think what the structure was with their impact player in that game against... They uh, bowled Surya, first. Uh, so they... Yeah, they bowled first, uh, they uh, chased. Yeah, Akash, Surya, Madwal. Akash Madwal and Surya, I think, was a swap, was that? Yeah. Yes, Madhwal Akash Madwal yeah. would have gone out and Surya would have come in. It yeah. was Surya who wasn't, right, okay. Yeah, so Surya was no. not... Uh, yeah, was no, not I really think they'll go. Yeah, I don't think... They, yeah, because I think he's just fielding, he's had that operation and all that, so I think they just want to yeah. protect him in the field. No, that's fine. I, and I think, I, I, again, we, we can only speculate not knowing all fine detail, but if everyone's fit and everyone's fine and, and the conditions are... are pretty normal up there, you, I, I'd be tempted as team management to go, go again guys, I'm backing you in. Let's, yeah. We're sticking with you. Yeah. We was really fine line that we missed out against one of the most dangerous teams around and, and high quality operations around, organisations around. I'm backing you in here. Hmm. Punjab, let's have a look at their team and see if they would make any changes. They need, they need a lot of stuff here. Uh, to come good. Their captain, of course, didn't play the previous game. Mm. Uh, don't know if we... Well, I, think, I don't think he's... They, from whatever I hear, he's probably may not be fit oh, tomorrow. Yeah, it's read somewhere that maybe yeah, a week may not be or so. As well. Maybe a week, so then he won't yeah. play that game as well. But otherwise, do you see any... Uh, do you see any changes happening? See, there? my point is that they're playing Ashutosh Sharma as a sub. I think he deserves to go, go into that first six. Yeah. Uh, he definitely deserves to bat out there. I think the big thing is... Really, uh, their international batters are not giving them enough. Mm. And I think that's one of the worries that they have. That basically, Bearstone and Livingstone have to do it for them. I think Rabada is bowling as well as he has. I think Ashtip is fine. I think their bowling is much more settled than it was. And I think Karan is giving them a little bit more with the ball than he was giving them last year. My problem is basically, I think Bearstone and Livingstone is where they are stuck at. You're and I'd Livingston's just back from injury, isn't he? But Riley Rousseau is the one that. Yeah, exactly. That's on that the one that's that might, might be in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's you like. Yeah, you like the look. I mean, the thing is, Johnny Best was a gun player, and all these internationals are really gun players. But Gilly, I guess the tough one becomes: you've paid big money, you've thought of them in their eleven, but I think we've seen with other teams as well now, nothing's holding anymore, right? You're like, oh, if no. it's not working. You got to go. RCB had well over half their purse on the bench. Yeah. Yes. Yep, and well over. It's got <laughs> yeah, 280 yeah. against him, but <laughs> yeah. didn't help, did it? But, uh, but yeah, no, you're right. It's uh, uh, well, the halfway point of the tournament. Is As you say, it's the Titanic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you got, you got to try and stay alive. Yeah, so just, might be, it might be time that they make that call, which would be a hard call on, on because of all the reasons. That, but any international player, really, that gets left out, is it's a tough call because we know they're in the IPL because they're talented, yeah. skillful players. Yeah, but yeah, I guess if you're not winning, then changes, I yeah. guess, have to happen. So uh, maybe, maybe we see uh, that one happening. Otherwise, uh, it's not really. It's the fact is that the batters are all, again, we talk about X-Factor batters. There's enough in there. I think the one thing they have to do is just give Ashutosh more of a chance, again, on form. Yeah, absolutely. Shrank and Ashutosh. The other thing is that, really, Prop Simran, I think, in that three position, uh, he's he's been a bit hit and miss, and I would be really tempted if I have a good international batter, if say Riley Russo came in to give him a position of three and give him a lot more balls to face. Fair point, but what if what if you say, all right, Prab Simran, we've given you your chances, it's not come through. We've got Ashutosh who's in great form and just getting like twenty balls to back at the back. Put him in at number three. He's, he's your in in terms of in form, he's your most in form Indian batter. Yeah. Oh. Why not just throw him up and let him come at three? Do you think that'd be just too much for... I don't think so. Oh, I wouldn't think so. Oh, worth a shot. Worth yeah. a shot. My, my point is all these boys are international. I mean, Ashutosh bats for the railways. He bats pretty high for the railways. Yeah. So, I think give back the players. I think what's happening is Prab Simran is, has got one decent knock. But otherwise, he's eating a lot of balls. And this format, now the way this game is played, in the first six, you can't afford batters to eat balls. That's true. That's yeah. my yeah. only problem. So, you never know. Maybe. 10 or 14 in the last match. I mean, that's the kind of thing. 10 or 14 means that's two, almost two and a half overs of your power play gone for 10 runs. Yep. yep. So yeah, that costs not... you as a team. Well, that's... particularly against Mumbai, where you yeah. know 
one of those overs is probably going to be Boomer. Right. So <laughs> the other five you're going to have to capitalise on because that over is going to be really hard. Yeah, that one's going to be You've only got 16 overs <laughs> yeah. to yeah. score. Yeah, yeah. you've got five yeah. power play overs yeah. and 16 in total. In total. You never know. Maybe it's the guy from the railways who can get Punjab's batting yeah. back on, on track. On the track.